Okay, so we're working on step seven, evaluating premises on the basis of sufficiency. And we've here found our way to example number nine. So let's create a text box. Now this one is interesting because remember, you have to evaluate all the premises together that give evidence for one other claim. And here we have all of these premises, 2, 6, 3, 8, 4, and 7. That's all the evidence that the author gives for one premise, the tipping insurer's proper service. So I need to ask whether all together, collectively, are these six premises sufficient? And I am going to say they are sufficient. These premises together focus on three main elements of proper service. Food, temperature, refilling of drinks, and quality of food. Although there may be some other elements not mentioned in this argument, such as having a pleasant manner, or knowing how to pair wine and food, the ones mentioned are among the most important. Therefore, they are enough to establish premise five, which is that tipping ensures proper service. See, I'm not repeating the premises, I'm describing them. I'm saying, well, what they mention is enough. Now, someone may disagree with that. Someone else may come and say, look, this may all be true. Sure, they won't care about hot food. They don't care about their drinks. But the real, the most important thing about proper service to me is getting advice on what wine to serve because it, it really improves the my dining experience and I don't have that knowledge. So if you haven't talked about that, then it's not clear to me. There's not enough evidence that proper service would be ensured by tipping. Okay. So different people may evaluate that differently. Then the question is, is five sufficient for one? Assume it's acceptable, assume that it's relevant. And I would say here, yes. Proper service is crucial to a positive experience, positive dining experience. So if a certain action would ensure it, then that is enough evidence to justify a claim that says that that action should be done. Now, you could say, well, that is not sufficient because tipping has some negative ramifications. And I considered that, but I don't really think that tipping has any negative ramifications, so I don't think that the argument needs to deal with that. But that's something that a different person could come up, could say, and, and could use in order to evaluate these premises. So according to my evaluation, these premises pass sufficiency. So that is step seven for example number nine.